rumor emerged last week from controversial yet acclaimed author Brett Easton Ellis that in effect he had heard from WB execs that were venting to him over dinner that other execs were complaining that the Batman film had script issues. And the first pair of execs were trying to tell the worried executives that it didn't matter because whatever it is that they released, the film was still real in cash. You can click here if you want to read the article that I wrote that provides the exact quotes on what was allegedly said, but it turned into a bit of a mess. And ever since then, it seems that WB has been on the defensive, trying to protect their IP, as they should be, because when your product becomes embroiled in controversy, that's what you're supposed to do because your job is to protect the brand. So nothing wrong with it, but here's what's been happening. So first we had Warner Brothers CEO Kevin Sujihara come out in a piece to the New York Times where he effectively said that he was confident that the management changes he had been making, putting a pair of executives Jeff Johns and John Berg in charge of superhero movies for instance, will make for more satisfied fans. With any luck, even a critic or two could come around. He went on to say that the thing that really makes me confident is that I've seen Wonder Woman and it's great. Ezra Miller, aka Barry Allen, aka The Flash, also stated, Yes, he's a good guy to have around. He keeps us full of information and he keeps us from making ignorant mistakes that would upset the fans across the world because you pretty much can't get someone with a deeper knowledge of this universe than Jeff Johns. Even today, Joe Manganiello came out to praise the Batman film for being action-packed and cerebral. When I met Ben, we sat down and we talked about, you know, the role. We talked about the movie, his take is a fresh take, but I think the audience is going to be surprised because it's a road that no one's really gone down that's completely integral to, you know, who Batman is. And I think it's gonna be refreshing, but at the same time, completely familiar. But it's going to take this franchise in a direction that I think a lot of people are going to be really happy about. It's going to be gritty and action-packed and cerebral and all of those elements that people love about Batman. Ben's a great director, man. I mean, the last movie that man directed won Best Picture. He's got an Oscar for writing. Like, this is all the components to go down as. Everything is lined up for a really, really great movie. Not only a superhero movie, but just a great, great movie. Gritty and action-packed is good, and I don't think there's any question in terms of Ben Affleck's talent. There's never been any question of anybody else's talent that they've brought on board. The big concern amongst fans and the problem that critics have is that Warner Brothers keeps releasing hatchet jobs. You clearly at some point had a phenomenal film that got wrecked in the editing room, whether it be an attempt to cut down on time or whether it was in reaction to test screenings that you tried to like readjust the film, whatever it is, there was a great movie that was made and it was trashed. The Batman v Superman extended cut, for instance, is one of my favorite films now. And granted, everyone's tastes are not gonna be, you know, like mine, like they won't be satisfied. Like I just happen to be someone that enjoys dramas. Like I could sit down and watch Manchester by the Sea, Hacksaw Ridge, the talented Mr. Ripley and Carol in one sitting, and I'd be good to go. It'd be a great day for me. While others would rip their hair out with that kind of a playlist. But those are just my thoughts, and I'd love to know yours. What do you guys think about the comments from Sujihara, Miller, and Mangan Yellow? Are y'all concerned or confident about the Batman film? Let me know down in the comments below. And hey, be sure to check out movienewsandreviews.us for the latest in news, trailers, featurettes, and more. So be sure to check us out. And remember, please subscribe so that you're notified in your newsfeed when the next video is uploaded. Please remember to give this video a like and share it about and help support this channel through Patreon and using any of the affiliate links in the description below. You people are awesome, as always, but thanks for watching.